What if I told you that light isn't just a beam or a particle, but something far more mysterious? Something that behaves like a wave, yet doesn't need anything to travel through. Sounds weird, right? Well, let's dive into the fascinating story of how we came to understand light. Back in the 17th century, Christian Huygens had a radical idea. He said, what if light isn't made of tiny particles, like Newton thought, but is actually a wave? Imagine throwing a stone into a pond. Ripples spread out, right? Huygens thought light might work the same way. But waves need something to travel through. Water waves need water. Sound waves need air. So, what does light need? Huygens called it the ether, a mysterious, invisible medium filling the entire universe. But here's the problem. No one could prove it existed. Still, Huygens' wave theory was a huge step forward. Fast forward to the 19th century and enter James Clerk Maxwell, a physicist with a knack for math. Maxwell wasn't just studying light, he was studying electricity and magnetism. And he discovered something mind-blowing. He found that when electric charges move, they create not just electric fields, but also magnetic fields. And if you accelerate those charges, they produce waves, electromagnetic waves. But here's the kicker. These waves travel at the speed of light. Wait, the speed of light? That couldn't be a coincidence. Maxwell's equations showed that light itself is an electromagnetic wave. It doesn't need any medium to travel through. It can move through the vacuum of space. And guess what? The speed of these waves match the known speed of light. A staggering 300,000 kilometers per second. Suddenly, Huygens' wave theory had a solid foundation. Light wasn't just a wave, it was an electromagnetic wave. But Maxwell didn't stop there. He realized that light is just one type of electromagnetic wave. There are others, radio waves, microwaves, X-rays, and more. All of them are part of the same family, differing only in their wavelengths and frequencies. Think about it. The same physics that explains how your radio works also explains how you see the colors of a rainbow. That's the power of Maxwell's theory. Let's go back to Huygens for a moment. He had this idea that light travels in wavefronts. Let me explain, imagine yourself standing on a beach, watching waves roll in. Each wave has a crest and a trough, right? Huygens said light behaves similarly. When light hits your eye, it's like a wavefront hitting the shore. Your retina detects it, sends a signal to your brain, and you see the world. And those different colors you see, they're just light waves with different wavelengths. But there was one big question Huygens couldn't answer. What is light waving in? He proposed the ether, a hypothetical substance filling the universe. But here's the thing. No one could detect it. The existence of ether has been a topic of debate for a long time. The famous Michelson-Morley experiment was conducted to detect the presence of ether. But we will discuss that in the next video. So, what's the big picture here? Huygens was right. Light is a wave and Maxwell took it further showing that it's an electromagnetic wave, part of a vast spectrum of energy that shapes our world. So the next time you turn on a light or look at the stars, remember, you're not just seeing light. You're witnessing the incredible dance of electric and magnetic fields, traveling through the void of space at the speed of, well, light.